today I'm going to teach you how to make an upside down omelet. It's a really simple recipe and you won't find it hard at all. So let's get to the kitchen. Okay, so we're going to start with cooking the veggies. So everyone knows that if you need to do a pan and saute veggies, you need a bit of oil. Toss. Okay, the first thing we're going to add is the onions. So I'm going to plop them in. Just like this. And sear them for just a few seconds. You only get to really sear them when all the veggies are added. I'm just gonna do it for a few seconds. Now that my onions are a bit glassy, we're gonna add the next vegetable. So the zucchinis are gonna go into the pan. And you just need to give them a minute because the beans are fully cooked. So you don't need to take that long. Another thing you need if you're gonna make this taste really good is some seasoning. So first we're gonna add this salt. I use the velvet teaspoon, but if you're a really salty person, you can add more. And we also need a touch of sugar, just to balance the flavor, because the salt is really salty. So. And the last thing for the seasoning you'll need is the pepper. So I'm going to put this bunch of onion on the So now that the zucchinis have gotten a little cooked, you need to add the chickpeas. Um, you can really use any kind of chickpea, but let's see. Okay, so now my veggie mix is done. So I'm gonna take it off into a separate bowl, just so it doesn't keep on the pan, because we're gonna be kneading that pan. So the second part to doing the upside down omelet is the eggs. Now you'll need, well actually, you can have as many eggs as you want, but if you have a lot of eggs, you might need a slightly big pan. You're gonna have to beat the eggs. Just get the yolks broken, because then it's not gonna be an omelet. That's what you need for an omelet. Okay, so now we've got our two eggs. We're gonna put them into the pan. So first, again, you'll need a little oil. Then, you're gonna need to pour the egg mix in. So just like that. Grapes. You're gonna have to just swivel it a bit. And you're gonna have to push your spatula about so the water takes over. It gets it cooked faster. And I know it looks hideous now, but it'll reform its shape later. And you'll also need to shake the pan a bit. Now that my egg is done, I'm gonna slide it off onto a plate like this. And it doesn't look good now, but this veggie mix will be covering it because it's gonna basically look like an Egyptian pyramid. Um, and that's basically it. You can also add cheese, but I didn't want to. So that's basically how to make an upside down omelet. Bye.